Right then, welcome to... I tell you what, do you fancy nipping out for something to eat to the woods? Yes, yeah, sorry, let's go. So there you go. Denby Castle in the sun for a change. If you need a noise, there's a micro... whatever it's called up there. Glider. Noisy bugger too. So here we are on this beautiful day. I would nip out for dinner. <laughs> Beautiful day. And we'll do a bit of a cooking session in the Gwynia. I've only cooked one video, cooked one meal and filmed it there. But, uh, that's a lovely bird song, so keep going. Bird song in the Gwynia. The wind's picked up here, so I hope it's not interfering too much with the sound. I'll put the um, put the muff thing on the mic in a minute if it does. It's a beautiful day to be out. Right, we'll cross this little path and. Um, I'll let you know what we're going to be eating. The house down there, Castle House it's called, for obvious reasons, it's by the castle. And they featured in Four in a Bed, which is a TV programme like of, of guest houses and bed and breakfasts and stuff like that. Hope I can get through here. <laughs> and um, they almost won it. I think they come second, did they? Something like that. Nice, nice people, nice place. Been there myself. And um, uh, oh, they did have a nice grand piano. And they give them a tinkle on that thing. <laughs> there for one evening. A few years ago now. I'll show you now where we're going to be eating. And uh, you wouldn't want to fall off here. May not look it on camera, but uh, whew, we're going to be down there. Ooh, hell of a height. Don't know if you can see it. I'll tell. Anyway, I'll show you this bit when we get down there. And them noises you can hear, the horses in Howell School. Um, oh, I keep forgetting the new name of that. It'll always be Howell School. Something college, is it? So, nice, we passed the old, the old goblin there. <laughs> right, what are we having? Right, well I'm boiling some potatoes, which I will then mash and season with salt, pepper and butter. Uh, I'm making a classic dish, British dish, uh, what we call bangers and mash. Sausages and mash with gravy. And my gravy is going to be onion gravy. Uh, you can buy the gravy, obviously ready, well, ready made or like a powder or um, a stock cube you can just put water to but I've made my own gravy this morning and I'll talk about that when we get to the chosen spot um, I tell you what do you know it? yes 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 haunted to hell well if you're there you can come and have a <laughs> um, yeah so sausages pork sausages, good ones from the butchers and um, onion gravy and mash right, can we get in this way try this way and lovely bird song as well right I was stood on the top of that earlier up there and uh, show you 
It's about 60, 70 feet or another. Look at these bloody mess here, look. Anyway, don't come in this bit often. Right, I'll set up here and I'll get back to you. Because I've literally just grabbed the bag and out the house. Um, but I did make the gravy this morning ready to ready to go. So uh, I'll just find a little spot and then I'll get back to you. Okay, so this is all the gear I brought today. It's a frying pan for the sausages, some sausages in there, oil, homemade gravy, water, there's a uh, Dutch Army stainless steel mug to heat the gravy, salt and pepper, butter, two stoves, pan with the potatoes in. So I'm going to set it up and I'll get back to you. So there's me potatoes. Let's see. Let's get some water in there. We need to get them on the boil. So I'm using a gas stove for this. Right, I'll get that lit. The potatoes going on there because it was sliding off here for some reason. So, swap them round. Here we go. Lovely. Let that bloom and then we'll get them on the bottle. Right, that's bloomed enough now. Not an ideal spot here. That's the reason I enjoy the. Uh, the other woods, GMP woods, better really, but there we go. Get them boiling. Right, let me talk to you about this. Onion gravy. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but absolutely beautiful. And the way I make this is one onion, uh, chop it in half. Rude, I should look here first. Chop it in half and then slice it into sort of half rings if you follow the lines of the onion. And then put them in a frying pan with a little bit of olive oil. Fry them off until they come translucent and soft. In that process, I added salt, pepper, rosemary, uh, dried rosemary, and uh, thyme. Then I added two tablespoons of flour, which dried the whole mix up. So the onions sort of took up all the flour and it was quite dry in the pan. Then I took uh, a jug. Pyrex jug and I put one Bovril beef stock cube in, one Oxo stock cube in, beef, and put half a pint of water in that, stirred it up, made the beef stock and then added half, say quarter of a pint of uh, beef stock to the mix, let it simmer and then I can tell then whether I need more flour, more stock, so thicker, if you want it thicker, more flour you want it thinner more stock and that's it and taste as you go along taste it taste it if you like a rich strong gravy oh beautiful with the onion as well so that's what we're having today mashed potatoes seasoned with sausages pork sausages 
and onion gravy out in this beautiful woods. Not as nice as GMP, but it'll do. Let's check it. Bloody hell, that's only been about, what, three minutes? Fantastic. While them are frying off, uh, boiling, I mean, I'm going to start to fry the... Uh, sausages. This pan's a bloody awkward pan. I'm not using a flat one today. This was the first one I grabbed, so a bit of oil. Don't need a lot. And then, get these pork sausages in. And these are made by a butcher in uh, Conway, Edwards. And they've got a contract with um, Sainsbury's, Tesco's and all that of them. Okay, here we go. Sizzle of the sausage. Bit too high that. Different angle of the camp, you can see that. Sausages frying, taters boiling, and camp table in the middle. <laughs> Can't beat it. it. Won't be long now. Right, them are ready. So let them come off. Extinguish the. Uh, down. I just drain these off and we'll start mashing. Okay, we'll add the butter. There we go. And we'll start to mash. Hold on. Okay. Mash them in the pan. Beautiful. Add the seasoning, salt and pepper, equal amounts. There we go. Right, I've just mashed the taters, put them on the plate, and I'm heating the onion gravy in this pan. I was going to use this, but save washing up. <laughs> So I'll get that heated up now, get on a plate and I'll get back to you. Homemade onion gravy, wish you could taste it. So here we are, mashed potatoes, sausages, served with onion gravy. All you've got to do then is enjoy. Taste test. You got it. So, sausage, mash, and onion gravy. That. Must be the best yet. Mm. Sausages are succulent.
never get tired of this gravy. Beautiful. Right. I'll finish this and then I'll get back to you. You can see. <laughs> well, that's how good that was. Absolutely amazing. Whoa. That was just right. So it's only a quick outing. I could have made that at home, sat to the table, but it's worth the sort of 10 minute um, outing. To get here in the fresh air in the woods, even though this is a bit of a messy one, this but um, the bird song and that's beautiful sun shining, so well worth it in my book. So I'll clear up and um, that's it, I'll get back to you then. So that's it, all done and dusted, nothing left, all gone, nice and clear. So I thoroughly enjoyed that. As I say, I could have stayed home and ate it, but it was worth a visit to the Gwynhau, uh, 10 minutes to get here, and um, cook it amongst the sun, trees, wind, birds, and it does taste 20 times better. So hopefully you've been inspired to get out yourselves or do some different ideas, food, food-wise. Always worth the effort. So thanks for watching and uh, I'll speak to you soon. Even the birds agree. Fantastic.